A young boy tortured and abused to death, and now that crime could spark change at the state capitol. But as 41 Action News investigator Jessica McMaster uncovered, a new bill may only be the start. Both Adrian's grandmother and the Wyandotte County District Attorney were here today to show their support for Adrian's act, though the district attorney says he still wants to see more done with this bill to protect children. This has been heartbreaking to our family. It's been a year and a half since Judy Conway learned her grandson, Adrian Jones, was tortured and killed by his father and stepmother. We should not let this type of situation happen. Tuesday, a hearing was held for Adrian's act, which would require adults report abuse if they're living in the home where the abuse is occurring. It should be our priority every single day, every minute of every day. So if you see abuse, report abuse. The bill was introduced earlier this month after a 41 Action News investigation uncovered a relative of the Joneses was also living at the home, but didn't report Adrian's abuse to authorities. This is a step in the right direction, but while we have the attention, right, of this committee and of this nation that we need not stop there. Wyandotte County District Attorney Mark Dupree supports the bill, but says he would not seek charges against an adult who is also a victim of domestic violence. Dupree also wants Adrian's act to expand, adding more oversight for children who are homeschooled. And I believe this situation occurred because the child was only seen by uh, his abusers. In Kansas, parents only have to register their homeschool online. No follow-up or additional oversight is required. Adrian and his siblings were isolated under the guise of being homeschooled. Dupree wants children to be seen at least once a year to make sure they're testing where they should and to ensure there's no safety concerns. In my opinion, every adult in this country should be uh, a reporter of not just crime, but definitely of our babies being abused. And so I think that this bill assists and gets us where we need to go. I just believe that the bill should not stop here. Though it's not clear when or if the bill will pass, those in support of Adrian's act believe this is the step in the right direction when it comes to protecting our children. We're in Topeka. I'm investigator Jessica McMaster, 41 Action News.